Xavier Howard issue that we talked about at length a little bit yesterday. We'll have more from the quarterbacks and the star players, but let's to put a magnifying glass on the Dolphins here for a bit. Kyle, how big of a deal is this? This is a trade re request mm -hmm. from the best player on the team, potentially. Definitely the best defensive player. Maybe, yeah. I, I don't think it's a massive deal because, you know, we started the show with Rodgers talking about I'm an outlier. Like, Xavier Howard is not an outlier, and this is a classic thing in, like, knowing your worth. Great player, may, you know, maybe a great player, not a superstar, had an excellent season, and I just think that you're a cornerback. Your last name is not Sanders or Bailey or Revis, and camp will go on without you, whether you're involved or not. Like, these guys who want to make these power plays, it's very difficult to make if, if, unless you're, you know, the quarterback, maybe the pass rusher. Beyond that, it's, it, it's, it's so hard. It's like, I remember the classic Jets season of hard knocks and Rex is up there in front of the team and he goes, gentlemen, we don't have Revis in this building. Does that matter? I don't know, he's pretty bleeping good. And everybody just laughs because Revis was like a top five player in the mm. NFL. I don't think Xavier Howard has that, and I don't think Brian Flores has the makeup to let this thing fall apart. I think he is a, if you want to sit over there and mope and go half-ass, go ahead. If you don't want to show up, go ahead. Like, we're still planning to win the AFC East. Oof. As much as I like Xavier Howard as a player, he is not an outlier. And if you are not, they will move on without you. Or yeah, go no get a snack. It. Or go get a snack. Or go get a snack. Um, you know, he might not be those individuals. He said is his last name, you know, the Revis or Sanders. Um, I get it. But I'm not sure how many of those guys have had double-digit interceptions in one season. Probably none. You know? It's very impressive. Uh, I don't think that they have. Uh, I know that he's the first guy to do it in 13, 14 years since Antonio Cromartie. Um, and previous to that, that record goes way back within the franchise. So he's sitting back similar to the same space that Devontae is in. The only difference is Xavier Howard still has a few more years left on his deal. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not trying to stick up for him. I'm just, I'm just trying to paint the picture and so people understand why he wants to get paid, whether you think he deserves it or not. Now, with that said, I do feel like this could have an impact, though, because it's, it's a chemistry thing. You know, now you have one of your leaders, a guy that you would want to walk into the locker room day one, not have a problem with the organization. And if he does, keeps it quiet, walks upstairs and talks to him behind closed doors and then leads the team on the field. Seem like recently these, this team is headed in the right direction. Brian Flores has everybody bought in. You know, now they're giving two of the reins. They got rid of Fitzpatrick. They, went, they won 10 games in a season that was a little disjointed because of the quarterback situation. But if you look at, from a bird's eye view, Nick Fitzpatrick was in the same situation in Miami. He wanted out. He's gone. Now Xavier Howard is like, yo, what's up? Like, I, I want to get paid. Like, you, you got to figure this out. Like, it might be an organization thing, even though the new like, people in charge mm -hmm. didn't have anything to do with Minka, mm -hmm. I still feel like you're, you're, you're kind of setting a new standard if you're in Miami. Mm -hmm. and, and Listen, I'm a player's guy all the way. For those that are listening, I, I hope you're not saying, come on, Nate, you're trying to give the other side of the coin without showing our side. No, I'm just saying, if you're an organization and two of your superstar players are unhappy, one ended up with the Steelers and another one is very vocal on Instagram saying mm -hmm. he wants mm -hmm. to be traded, this is a bigger problem than it is about money. It could be a, a Miami thing. Mm. And I just hope that ain't the case because they're close to being successful. After a 10-win year, you don't want stuff like this happening within your organization. You don't want to deal with the drama either. Uh, like, as a teammate, all right, we just showed Tua having to talk about it. It's like, yeah, of course, I support X. He's my guy. I love him. But I hate like, this. You know, like, what, what, he's being selfish. You know, look, I, I, I've gone through this myself. Like, I, I, when I was playing, there was all of a sudden you open up the New York Post and it's like, oh, this... All right, OC, all right, wanted more money. He, Jerry Reese, he, they're having some beef. And it was like, all right, look, man, bro, you, you, you can be selfish in the offseason. Handle that stuff on your own time. But here, this is our time. Once training camp shows up, let's go. Like, be about the team. Look, if you're, Xavier Howard, you, you, you want to get paid? Like, let's go win a Super Bowl. And then guess what? You're going to get even more money than you would get right now. Mm -hmm. So I, this defense was phenomenal last year. I mean, they led the league in takeaways. He was a huge part of it. I feel like they're building stuff. Jalen Phillips is going to be a big addition to this defense. Jalen Waddell can be a huge addition. That's what we should offense. be talking about. Exactly. Talking about the team. There's a lot of positive things going on, positive energy. Why don't you want to be a part of that? Mm -hmm. And, you know, he kind of – it was a very clumsy explanation, too. We talked about it yesterday about, you know, I didn't really understand the contract. <laughs> yeah. So, like, look, if you're going to have a stance and you're going to own something, like at least, like, know what you're, know what you're talking about. 
I love what Devontae Adams did, how he talked about, look, I want to be the highest paid player, but that's for the offseason. Now it's now that it's not done, mm-hmm. yeah. season, I'm playing the season. Sure. The end of the year, we'll deal with it. I'll hand out them. But right now, it's go time. Well, how big of a difference is he going to make on this team? That's what I care. We say he's a corner, mm-hmm. but can they do it without him? They do have a great – I mean, they've got Byron Jones, who's paid more than him. He made that yeah. case on his Instagram post. And they – I mean, they have, what, three first-rounders last year, and they spent one of those first-round picks on a corner. So that's good. They at least have that. That's a luxury some teams don't have. But tell me what they'd be missing if they do move on from him because I'll be honest, I'm excited about this team. I think them having one of the best corners in the division, like them and Stephon Gilmore has drama going out the Patriots. I liked that the Dolphins had that unlock going into this. I think Xavier Howard was a big part of why I liked the Dolphins going into this year. So what are they missing if they trade him away? Ten interceptions. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Leading the league in mm-hmm. turnovers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's a big part of why they were successful. And when you have a guy like that, the quarterback tends to hold on to the ball a little bit longer, not look to his side of the field. So, uh, yeah, it, it's it's a big deal. And whether you think he deserves to get paid or not, you have to understand that he has he has something to lean on. You yeah. Know, when you have that type of season, you have a little bit of leverage. He's not a quarterback, but I think that he significantly puts a shadow on what I loved about the Dolphins and how I thought they were going to do it. His fingerprints all over that defense. You can't have enough yeah. corners yeah. either. Oof. Okay. No, that's right. fair.